never mess with Marco Axelbender. This former ATF pursuit vehicle received a presidential commendation when he blew out three tires during a high-speed pursuit on the 101 and still managed to catch the assailant on nothing but rims. Today, he treads safer roads at the Los Angeles International Speedway, arresting scalpers and turning away riffraff. Young Coriander Widetrack has no interest in racing. Her eyes are on the skies. While the other cars in school race around the playground pretending to be Lightning McQueen, Coriander turns that blacktop into blue sky, imagining she's soaring 10,000 feet in the air and racing to exotic destinations. It's Coriander's dream to someday meet her idol, jet fighter, Marco. Tom is a Piston Cup race official, but that doesn't mean he's not a fun guy. Sure, rules and regulations are important to him, but he also enjoys a good joke or fun prank now and then. He once switched the signs on entrance C44 of the stadium with C45 to temporarily confuse his fellow race officials. The prank went over like gangbusters and everybody had a good laugh. Except for Tom, who felt guilty and reported the incident to his superior. As a twin-engine jet fighter, Marco gets to go on many dangerous and exciting missions. His favorite mission of all are the crowd-pleasing, low-altitude Piston Cup flyovers. It's a chance for him to mix it up with the public he defends, but unfortunately, when zipping by at 500 miles per hour, he only gets to watch the race for about 1.2 seconds at a time. Considered one of the most universally successful racers in history, Mario Andretti has done it all. Name a race circuit, series, or track, and you can be assured that Mario has garnered victories on every one of them. Not many cars know this, but uh, <laughs> Mario is actually an old friend of Doc Hudson's. They were fierce competitors on the track, but good friends off the track. Lee Revkins grew up mastering his driving skill on the family farm. He recalls an old rickety bridge down at the river running through the property where he'd try to thread the needle across the narrow bridge. Lee credits his nerves of steel to those daredevil runs. These days, Lee threads through Piston Cup traffic every Sunday, competing with some of the fastest cars in the world. Floyd Mulvihill, originally trained as an automotive engineer, decided to put down his tools and pursue his lifelong passion to race. He competed in the Junior Piston Cup Pro Series with the likes of Sage Vanderspin and graduated to the Piston Cup in 2005. He's affectionately known as Smokey Floyd, as he enjoys laying long patches of burning rubber in front of his adoring fans. Murray Clutchburn's first taste of competition was as a member of the 1984 gold-winning Olympic Test Track Relay Team. You might recognize him from specially marked boxes of wheelie shredded brakes. The momentum of the Olympics carried him straight into mainstream professional racing and a flourishing career in the Piston Cup Series. Lauded for his classic image, Murray sometimes sports his signature exhaust sideburns that made him such a hit with the ladies back in the day. Believe it or not, Krusty Rotor was actually a vinyl top salesman before the makers of Vinyl Toupee, Vinyl Top, and a Can put him out of business. While working out his frustration in the gym, he realized he had an amazing gift for driving long, hard, grueling distances without feeling even the slightest burnout. As luck would have it, the makers of Vinyl Toupee, Vinyl Top, and a Can were fronting cash for a Piston Cup team. Krusty made the biggest sell of his life, landing the job and all the spray-on toupee his roof could sport. Johnny Blamer simply has one of those grills other cars love to crash into. He's been involved in more collisions than any other car in Piston Cup history, earning him the nickname Magnet Face. He's also known as the hardest working car in the circuit, though he hasn't finished a race in the 10 years he's been competing. He holds the record at 545 starts and zero finishes. With little natural athletic ability, knowledge of racing's rich history, or understanding of its complex rules, it's a wonder Kevin Racing Tire has been able to sustain himself in the Piston Cup circuit for as long as he has. He attributes his success to his family, particularly his father-in-law who is the owner of the large pharmaceutical company that just so happens to sponsor the team he races for. It's Billy Oil Changer's dream to become a racing color commentator after he retires. He's watched all the greats like Daryl Cartrip and Bob Cutlass over the years and, and even practices announcing by calling the races out loud to himself while he's in them. It's great experience, though the other drivers find it distracting and a little creepy. 
Ryan is not only a ViewZine Corrective Windshield driver, he's also a customer. Without it, the race is merely a blur of multicolored blobs moving at 200 miles per hour. His ViewZine windshield doesn't just help out on the track, it also has a special coating that helps cut down on glare while driving at night. Not to mention, it makes him look smarter. Chuck has always had a slight allergy to certain fuels. As a result, they make him a little difficult to be within a 5-foot radius of. Once he started racing professionally, not only did the problem not go away, it actually got worse at high speeds. It got so bad the other cars didn't want to pass him. Chuck hopes he's a good example of how a problem can become an asset. Chuck Armstrong is the toughest kid in the racing business. Last season, while suffering from a worn-out clutch, he got back on the track and bump-started himself all the way to victory lane. You can never count Chuck out, not if he's still got some engine left. Rusty Corn Fuel grew up on a farm in Mississippi and gained his reputation among the locals for running his own racing circuit with his buddies. Rusty won most of the races and made enough money off the event to nearly sponsor himself professionally. Luckily, his current sponsor, Toe Cap Hitch Protectors, came along to front the bill for his team. <laughs> now Rusty can spend his own money on more important things, like flying his buddies from the farm down for every race. <laughs>